Welcome to the dark stream. Vox Day. Voxday.blogspot.com. Unauthorized TV. Welcome to the reprehensibles. To the unauthorized. Welcome to the VFM. To the dread ilk. And as always, welcome to all the bears. And not the gay bears that live in San Francisco. The bears that are Owen Benjamin's followers. Because I know a lot of them love to watch me. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I said that I would tell you why my streams have been shorter and not as numerous. And uh, I guess um, what I have to, what you have to understand is that the gammas have been really getting me down lately. They've been calling me Teddy Spaghetti. And I hate that name. And they've been calling in and getting me shout outs as Teddy Spaghetti on shows. It's been very distressing on me. I am trying to work on a new platform called Unauthorized TV. If you're not already subscribed, I highly encourage you to go and do so. It is going to be top notch content. We have new creators joining every day uh, the other day we had some chick that knows about medieval history and she's going to be giving her lectures I'm going to be starting my own class on how to make games like Hot Dish if you like Hot Dish I can show you how to make that game it's one of my easier games I can also make games about space and lasers and games that look like Doom Um, so if you'd like to watch me give classes on how to make games, that would be another way to uh, join and authorize for you. And there's also going to be Chuck Dixon, who designed uh, Bane for the Batman villains. And he is, oh, and we have a wonderful hit show, Barcelona Life. And it is very, very interesting. I, I love being a star in Barcelona life. I think that I have made that show so much better. Uh, it's just about living in Barcelona. And the, <laughs> the, the joy of it is, is that m many people think that it's a show for boomers, but uh, I don't think it is. I, I think it's a show for intellectual people who like to drink wine and indulge themselves and that's just what I feel now getting on the situation about the gammas they have been making me feel really bad and they've been befriending Owen that's what gammas do they reach out to someone who may be sort of down like Owen was Owen is was in a down place and he needed Owen's mind is like a pit bull in a way. He needs something to grab onto, to focus on. And what they decided to do was to convince Owen that Steven Crowder is gay. Which comes as no surprise to me. I have 150 IQ, okay? My friend Milo, he told me that Steven Crowder was gay years ago. That's what, and I told Owen this. I told Owen, Owen, you know Steven Crowder's gay. And my friend Milo said that Steven Crowder might not suck a penis, but he sure will hold one in his mouth until the swelling goes down. And well, Owen, what you have to understand is that you just have not seen that Steven Crowder was gay, just like you didn't see that Eric Nimmer was not a Marine. You're just not as smart as I am. You need to listen to me more often, Owen. Not people at Revenge of the Sis. And I'm very, very hurt that you said that you thought the name Teddy Spaghetti was funny. 
And believe me, Owen, that got back to me. Let's just watch a clip of that, shall we? Or they're just so far gone, no one can even hear them speak because they're donkeys. You're going to head up? I'm spiraling. Oh, and you gotta admit that uh, the Teddy Spaghetti meme is hilarious. It can be funny. Just because it rhymes. It's like, a, I don't like most of those gammas, though. The people that hate Vox are typically total assholes. But um, the fact Teddy rhymes with spaghetti is obviously well worded. But the people that are doing it are typically like liars. They're like, unauthorized doesn't work. Everybody's scamming every. I'm like, not only does it, it doesn't work, for what it does, it's more reliable than YouTube, you fucks. Uh, bro. Now what you have to understand is, Owen, this is the, exactly the type of response that the Gammas wanted. You acknowledged that their silly nickname, Teddy Spaghetti, that I hate, you acknowledged that it was funny. Now they're just going to keep saying it. Thank you very much. Owen, you idiot. Now, then Owen calls me and tells me that he needs to reach out to the friends of the sis. He needs to see if maybe they would be interested in coming onto our platform. I told him no fucking way. I told him that you better go after them. You better stomp them while they're down. You better kick this shit out of them. They've embarrassed us. They've made us into internet laughing stocks. And under no circumstances, Owen, I will I will send you no more money for alpacas, Owen. We didn't sign a contract. Unauthorized TV belongs to me. Just one moment. This cat hair is very bad. Uh, uh, unauthorized belongs to me, Owen. And besides your little Feed the Bear subscriptions, I don't have to pay you anything. That's the genius of it. So you better do my bidding. And you better kick these fuckers while they're down. I don't want to hear any more of it. I don't want to hear any more that you and Mercer are talking back and forth and going after Crowder together. Crap, let, let the, the, the fag Crowder fight with that other little faggot from Vox TV. And don't worry about Crowder, Owen. Let's get these Revenge of the Sis Gammas. Now, these are your orders from your daddy, the Dark Lord. Do it now. Now let us see how he responded. Watch a short clip and uh, haven't seen this yet, so hopefully we'll be pleased by his uh, sudden turn. And, you know, I talked to Vox about it. We were going to invite them to come over to unauthorized.tv where they could still make a living, but we don't want them to have to, you know, risk legal problems. We don't want them to be part of a scam. You know, we don't want to, you know, put them in any kind of uncomfortable position because, you know, it's all a big scam. So now they're just fucked. Now they, they have nothing. It's, it's just like, oh... Oh, boo-hoo. God has a way of always dealing with these things. Future Nobody has also gone full gamma. Guys, let it happen. I knew that dude was going, like, towards the end, I realized he was a click monster himself. Like, click monsters are the worst. They're just, like, titling things to get clips. Like, this one's just called, oh, I even misspelled the title. I said, what rabbit? It should be called white rabbit. Like, how about you worry more on what, uh, on your art form? 98339. Like, like, worry more about, like, uh, you know, your morality. So these Revenge of the Sis guys and Mersh 
and Nightwave Radio, they're they're fa- they have no families. They're they're chubby gammas. And all they do is obsess about dudes like me and Vox Day and they're like, oh unauthorized that TV is such a scam and uh, copyrights are blah blah it's like now you're fucked. And you know what? Guys like me and Vox would have let you on our platform. Not but we don't want to put you in that position where you may get in trouble for some sort of scam. And guess what? You can't send your trolls at us now. We're not even incorporated in America. We're not on any of these platforms. We have our own servers. We're we're out. And it's like, that's how it always works. You don't have to do it yourself. Let, uh, you know, what's that? Zeus, Sun Tzu. If your enemy is self-destructing, don't uh, bother them. You know, don't disturb them. If someone is uh, self-destructing, let it just just let them do it. Like, don't don't disturb them. Don't don't come in and be like, hey guys. No, let them just let it. Just the, God just wipes it clean. It happens all the time. Vengeance is for the Lord. Don't invite Mersh, guys. We we were good to invite Mersh, but we didn't want to associate him with this with what he believes to be a scam. So, bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye Mersh. Bye bye Revenge to the Sis. Now you guys are going to analyze me and Vox's videos and and uh, talk about how you know we're really betrayers and we're full of shit and we're just trying to steal from people for no money. Like now you can't make a living. All your entire empire that you're trying to build based on negativity and hating on people like me and Vox, it's all gone. And we didn't even have to do it. We just let you do it yourself. We didn't have to come at you. We didn't have to send trolls your way. I never bring up your name. I just watched as it just went down. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, fart Pharisees. Bye, Pharisees. <laughs> you burn your own temple when you're out of Logos, man. You burn your own temple. Don't interrupt your enemy while he's making a mistake. Let him do it. Enjoy it. And I hope you live a thousand years. Cheers. Cheers to Mersh and Revenge of the Sis, who, who call uh, Vox Day Teddy Spaghetti. And they, and they just mock me endlessly. And they're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. These Bye. No more, no more quick money for you guys. And, you know, we would offer you a, a safe haven at Unauthorized, but we wouldn't want to put you in that position where you have to associate with Teddy Spaghetti and Big Bad Owen Benjamin. I hope you live a thousand years, Mersh. What kind of a name is that? Was your mom that much of a whore and your dad that much of a fag that they named you Mersh? Jesus. What a fucking pussy. Mersh. So all of those clicks, and you probably saw your clicks going up and up as you were uh, developing a, a C of trolls and haters. They couldn't wait to see what you said about old Teddy Spaghetti and Big Bad Big Bear. Well, guess what? Now we'll see if you keep making videos for no money. I remember that was one of the big things that old Mersh was saying about me, was that as soon as I got demonetized, Big Bad Big Bear would start not doing videos because he only does it for money. That's called projection. Now we'll see if Mersh still does his four-hour analysis of my live streams and how bad I am for no money. Enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy hell, Mersh. Now all your people will see that you never even had passion for it. You were using them as a click farm. I, I try not to enjoy these moments, but I'm a human being, and it's, it's, it's not great logos to, to enjoy it as much as I do. But, you know, I hope you still make five-hour videos mocking Teddy Spaghetti for no money. I hope you live a thousand years. And the whole time you were trying to take me down, I could have been your ally. I could have been your friend. So could have Vox. And not only will we never be your ally or your friend, we can't help but smile as your ship sinks and we are in a very safe ship 
people could say, oh, well, you go after Crowder. I will never want a thing from Crowder. Crowder has nothing he will ever offer me. The dork stream. That's what they call it. They say, oh, Ted Spaghetti in the dork stream. Oh, Owen, his wife's going to leave him. Uh, but, but, they did it all just to get clicks. They were trying to pick up demons just to watch their shit. People that hate their lives and just want to hate on me because I represent what they don't have and they'll never have. Mersh is a cross-eyed fuck. He's fat and he's dumb. And now he has no money. He's on his way to a cornfield poking. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Thank you, Frozen. It's kind of funny, though. Which one? It feels good being on the side of truth. Well, it's the only way, because even when it hurts, sometimes it hurts, sometimes you get attacked a lot. Merch is a fucking faggot. I mean, I'm not gonna disagree. Uh, I never had to send shit. I haven't said his name. I never had to send people his way. I don't want my people to waste their time. But now that he's demonetized and he got nowhere to go, let's see if he still does four-hour streams about the Big Bear. <laughs> hey, future nobody. You don't need to say future. You're just nobody. Mersh went after me too, but I thought it was funny. Well, that's because you're a Jew, Pinder. You're upside down. It's all right. I still love you, but... You know, um, why were they banned? Because everyone gets banned on YouTube. Why would you build your house on sand? This is the knife of death. Oh. I apologize, people. Sometimes I get very excited. And I remember the days back in my dojo, which was very much like Cobra Kai. And I like to, I get riled up. And that speech by Owen and riled up. Oh, you should have seen that. It's stuck right in the door. I've still got it. Oh, the Dark Lord and his VFM are powerful weapons. Now, what you need to understand is that Owen is a pussy. Owen can't keep his mind made up. He's wishy-washy. And he betrays everyone close to him. And the best way to show this would be just to show you what this pussy Owen did only a few, for, a few short hours after delivering such a rousing attack against the Gammas. He turns around and he apologizes. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this isn't going to make any sense to most of you, nor should it. And most of you won't care, which is fine. I just wanted to get this uh, out real quick. Uh, I shouldn't have gloated so hard about uh, that Mersh dude getting demonetized. I, uh, I re-listened to my stream today, and uh, I sounded like a, like a real jerk. He deserves it, obviously, and he's terrible but uh just fyi i was setting a bad example i shouldn't have gloated there was a little too much joy in my tone and he isn't um what it's you know when i'm when i'm going at somebody in the culture war it's very different than me taking joy in someone else's um failings it was uh i don't know i didn't like i didn't like how i i acted with that so um 
I don't apologize to him. He's a total piece of garbage. But uh, just uh, don't follow my lead on that in life. Gloating is uh, is lame. And uh, on second thought, I sounded just like a total dick. So uh, please don't emulate that behavior. I know I have a lot of young dudes who follow the channel. That was my bad. It was uh, a moment of bare weakness, and uh, I apologize. you have to understand is is that Owen is a total bitch by apologizing to the enemy you just make the enemy stronger um, uh, well I don't know Owen usually does my bidding it's not hard for me to tell Owen what to do and he does it. He is very suggestible. I guess you could say that I'm an evil Sith Lord and he's my Anakin. So let's hope that I get this situation under control. Uh, I'm really just using Owen for money for unauthorized TV. He is a useful idiot. Well, that's enough talk about Owen today. Um, I still don't want to turn on my super chats because of the gammas. They upset me. They, ups they upset Space Bunny. And I don't want to hear Space Bunny bitching at me later because you guys made me read something stupid. That's, uh, what you have to understand is that I just don't need the, I just don't need the hassle right now. Now, I may open my super chat up later today for stupid question day. And that will allow you to, once every five minutes, type in a question if you want me to answer it. But if it's anything about Teddy Spaghetti or my dad... I will ignore it, and I will have Sir Hamster promptly remove you from the chat, because we don't tolerate that gamma behavior here. Now I do have a short announcement for our investors in Castellania House, the big project we're working on. I'm very excited about it. I have it here. It's a it's a book. It's a book for a. Uh, it's a book for a. Uh, It's a book uh, by Vox Day, and it's a pullout book for boomers. You might recognize. Um, oh, it's so beautiful! It's got some of these, some of the most awesome characters that boomers will remember these events. Here is Mike Tyson eating Evander Holyfield's ear. What you have to understand is that Mike Tyson was sick of Evander Holyfield's bullshit. So Mike Tyson kept headbutting. Oh, Evander Holyfield kept headbutting Mike Tyson, and the next time he put his head in there, Mike Tyson just said, "I'm gonna eat your ear, bitch." So he did. <sighs> Let me find something else that might be of interest. This. This book is going to be so great. All of you need to send in $500 now just to be invested. This is this book is a prototype. But these are books that boomers will enjoy. You see, this is OJ's Want White Bronco. You can see him running through and the, and the helicopter is up here chasing. And look at there. All the little black people are on the bridge saying, Go OJ, go OJ. The juice is loose. And OJ's trying to get away before they caught him. He, 
Anyway, I'll get this fixed in just a moment. Oh well. What is this? This is embarrassing. These pop out books are, uh, don't always work the way you want them to. This is when Paris Hilton had her sex tape. And she was on the phone. Guys behind her there. Getting his action on. Huh? Talking on her phone. And this is Sacred Paris Hilton. This book is wonderful. It's going to be such a great hit. Let me see. <gasps> it's Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson's hot right now, so I wanted to put this in the book. But, hey! All the people in Mike Jackson's get his baby. Hey! I got my baby! I'm gonna throw it out the window! What you have to understand is, Michael Jackson was not the best father. Okay. Well, I think that's enough for now. Uh, I hope everyone has a good weekend, and remember, I may have a stream later where I have Stupid Question Day. It depends on what Space Bunny says. And right now, I am going to take some of Owen's Feed the Bear and Alpaca money and take Space Bunny out for wine and dinner. And Owen won't be able to do a single thing about it because he's a stupid bitch and he pissed me off this weekend. So, I'm sure he's pissed a lot of people off this weekend. Because you don't go after someone and then apologize. It just pisses everyone off. So, this is Fox Day, and this is the Dark Stream. Goodbye. Hey guys. This is Link, and uh, oh, this makeup is hard to get off. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was my own first time ever impersonating anybody, so I thought it was pretty fun. And uh, I've been listening to Vox Day videos, oh gosh, for for uh, weeks and weeks, and been sending clips to Royce. So we can, so I can listen to him make fun of him on uh, ROTC. Oh, it's coming off a little bit now. I'm a redneck, so my uh, head is really red, just like my hands. So I went and got some makeup, and I originally got one of those skull caps, but it didn't fit right. So for the gig, I, I just shaved my head, so it looked right. Then I got these glasses. Where are they? I don't even know where I put them. I put. I think I threw them somewhere because it was hard to wear them. I got the glasses from me, from uh, Amazon and built the little bookshelf behind me here. I don't have quite a big bookshelf as Vox, but uh, I um, kind of built a chair. I don't know if I can show it to you. There's a, a chair that I built, and I had like some... Uh, had some like decorations on the top like he did and they kept falling off now my now my cat is just over there sleeping in the chair <laughs> watching me thinking I'm thinking I'm an idiot but uh yeah that was fun guys and I, I hope you enjoyed it hope you hope it made you laugh today um I needed a laugh today and needed to do something fun I got a hundred on all my tests yesterday so I've been studying hard all week and uh with all this stuff going on I want to tell everybody to uh, subscribe to Revenge of the Sis and sign up for their Patreon on Patreon, and uh, that that will really help them through all this mess that's going on. Uh, if you're on Patreon, you can afford to pay a couple bucks more a month, pay a couple bucks more because they got great comedy. I mean, there was a time in my life where I was depressed. I mean, I didn't even want to go on anymore. I was just working, coming home, working, coming home. I was popping pills every day. I, I, I didn't want to take my own life or anything, but I just didn't see how I was ever going to be happier. And the problem was I wasn't laughing. And those guys made me start laughing again, and it made me uh, feel a lot better about myself. Um, 
just being around these guys in the chats and in the Discord and the groups, I feel like y'all have made me a funnier person. So, uh, anyway, we'll do this again. I kind of enjoyed uh, impersonating little Teddy Spaghetti. When uh, when I was sending him all those super chats and stuff, I would lay awake at night and have to listen to his whole show to get timestamps for Royce. So, sometimes I would just lay there and lay there and listen to his voice and try to get in touch with his mannerisms and everything. And uh, I want to let y'all know I've got almost 100 subscribers now. That, um, humble, that humbles me that 100 people would like my content. So, uh, I want to tell y'all that I really do appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Even if you're VFM and you came over here just to... Just to stalk me, harass me, or see what I was about, and you stay because you like the content. VFM, welcome. I'm not afraid of the VFM. <laughs> so, there might be a couple VFM in there, but I think they'll end up liking me too. I'm a lot more fun to listen to than fucking uh, Box Day. Anyway, uh, that's my last message. I hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe to Royce and, and, and Mersh. They're going through a rough time now, man. We need all their best fans to rally around them. And we got to figure out a way to support them. And all of us content creators, we got to band together and support those guys. Because, man, they, they, they pulled me out of a dark place in my life. Now, I don't focus on politics and all that other bullshit. I just like to laugh. And, and uh, it makes me a very happier person. And I'm glad that y'all are here. I, pre I love every each and every one of my subscribers. If you subscribe to me, I love you. And I'm glad you're here. And I'm going to do my best to keep you entertained. If I'm not, send me a comment down below on the video. I'll read all of them. If you think I could do something differently, give me suggestions. I'm open-minded. I'm open-minded to suggestions. Hey, y'all have a great weekend. I'll be getting back with you soon. Thanks.